These are 12 of the most awesome secluded homes. Twelve Selve Hut, located on the northeastern ridge of the Matterhorn, the Selve Hut is the highest mountain hut in the world. It's owned by the Swiss Alpine Club, but it's only to be used if there's an emergency. Built in 1915, it has 10 beds and has a working radio telephone for use in emergencies. The name Selve comes from the Belgian chemist and industrialist Ernest Selve. Eleven. Vestmanair. This house sits on the island Eliai and is located off Iceland's southern coast. The house is actually a lodge that was built by the Eliai Hunting Association in 1953 for its members to use. The lodge has no electricity or plumbing, but does have a sauna that uses rainwater collected using a special collection system. The island and lodge was almost given as a gift to Icelandic singer Björk to thank her for bringing Iceland so much attention, but the arrangement never came to fruition. 10. Red Cottage This beautiful, isolated house sits on an island aptly named Just Room Enough Island. Part of the Thousand Islands chain of islands in Canada, Just Room Enough was bought in the 1950s by the Sizlin family, who wanted a unique place to build a holiday home. They built their house with the walls just reaching to the edge of the island and gave the island its special name. The plan backfired on the family who were looking to find a quiet retreat and instead had to deal with tourists and sightseers stopping by to take a look at their unusual home. 9. Hermitage of San Columbano Located in Italy, between Vivenza and Rovereto, the Hermitage of San Columbano sits high on a mountainside looking down upon the city below. 120 meters up the cliff, it was clearly built to give its inhabitants a reprise from the hustle and bustle of the world below. It was built almost 700 years ago in 1319 and is named after the Irish saint Columbano. To gain entry to the structure, you need to pass through the Leno Gorge and then climb up 102 steep steps up the gorge. Every Christmas, there is a candlelight walk up to the Hermitage to signify the pilgrims climbing up the steps to pay respect to the saint. 8. Casa Malaparte Casa Malaparte, also known as Villa Malaparte, is located on Punta Masulo on the eastern side of Capri, Italy. Construction started in 1937 by well-known architect Adalberto Libera. The house is a red masonry box shape with stairs leading up to a fabulous roof patio. The house can only be reached by crossing the island on foot and takes about an hour and a half to walk there from the summit. 7. Villa Mechlin Located in the Finnish archipelago, Villa Mechlin is as picturesque and secluded as you can get. Built in a small depression in the natural rock, the villa was built using all basic materials. On one side looking past the structure you see the water, and looking past it from the other side you see the land, surrounded by trees, exposed rocks, and plenty of vegetation. The highlight of the house is the terrace, which is large and faces out toward the water for the view of a lifetime. 6. Stockholm, Sweden Several miles away from Stockholm, Sweden, there's an incredible house that sits on the highest point of a small island, stretching out just 137 square meters. The house is isolated and beautiful and includes a living room, guest room, a kitchen, and glass doors leading out to a large deck, plus a sauna. 5. Katsuki Pillar 130 feet above the hills of central Georgia sits Katsuki Pillar. Georgia adopted Christianity as the state religion in the 4th century, and the Katsuki Pillar became the site of a small church built in the 7th century. Its sole resident for the past 20 years has been a Georgian monk. A fun fact about the pillar? Women aren't permitted to climb to the top. 4. Artist Studio Fogo Island, Canada Fogo Islanders are simple, independent people who live to fish and enjoy the serenity of the beautiful landscape around them. Located on the island are six artist studios, built by the Shorefast Foundation. The idea behind the studio's design is to create a geometric structure that would contrast the natural setting around them. The studios stand on pillars near the sea, and each are isolated and can actually be moved to any part of the island. 3. Thatched Hut, Panama Looking more like a scene out of Gilligan's Island, this small island with a thatch-roofed hut is the epitome of peace and quiet. 
The pole-style thatched roof hut is common in Panama and can house an entire family. Building materials are tree trunks for the main pillars, bamboo poles as support, and different types of leaves for the roof. A well-made hut can usually stand for as long as 30 years. 2. The House on the Sea Living in this house is definitely like stepping into the land of Robinson Crusoe. Just off the coast of Cornwall, England, the House on the Sea is situated right on the beach and can only be reached by climbing across a 90-foot-high suspension bridge. Surrounded by water and isolated from the town, the tiny island is far from basic. The interiors are a luxurious mix of sleek neutrals and modern design, with panoramic sea views offered at every turn. 1. Holy Trinity Monastery Located in central Greece, the Holy Trinity Monastery is the oldest among the six functioning monasteries located there, having been built in 1476. It sits atop a 1,300-foot rock, and years ago, access could only be gained by climbing a rope ladder with just a net below. Today, the entrance is reached by climbing 140 steps cut into the rock. It once held historical treasures, such as precious manuscripts. However, they were stolen during World War II. If you could stay in any of these awesome secluded homes, which one would you choose? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more cool videos like this one. Thanks for watching!